Hello, my name is Gary LaRue and I serve as the County Administrator for Pontotoc County. I wanted to bring to you an update concerning all of the work that has been going on during the COVID-19 time period. This video is in addition to the video report that was presented by Chief Jason Ferguson of Botetourt Fire EMS to the Board of Supervisors. It's obvious that this time has been difficult for all first responders, including the efforts of the Botetourt County Sheriff's Department and dispatch. We are all thankful for these first responders and healthcare workers on a regular basis. However, with the situation of the pandemic, we are even more appreciative. The same appreciation is extended to the support systems that allows these folks to do their heroic work. During the healthcare crisis, the county employees have still been working with a high level of effectiveness. Each employee has been asked to be creative and to use this time to experiment with ways to do their jobs even better than pre-COVID. The BOCO team has risen to the challenge, and I feel certain you will be surprised with many of the innovative ways our staff is working to support Botetourt citizens. With the use of technology that had been placed in service prior to COVID-19, we've been able to communicate and disperse the workforce and still carry on the needed activities of the county. Our IT department migrated us to Office 365 along with most constitutional offices. According to the IT department, technology uses have actually increased approximately 75% over pre-COVID levels to today. This places more efforts on managing the networks and being creative in the way we serve the public. As an example, due to the work of the IT department, employees can now update their temperature database on CDC guidelines. And if above the limit of 99.9 .9 degrees, the information is captured and automatically sent up the chain to help with the notifications to the various individuals for record keeping associated with the employee. Even with the physical distancing work, which has continued, local government employees understand that they are all essential and must carry out the duties assigned so as to not allow projects to fall through the cracks. As an example, we have had record levels of miscellaneous and building permits being submitted as a result of maybe folks uh, staying home and catching up on projects that, that the citizens may have been putting off. We understand that contractors have been working hard and are scheduled into August or September as a result of the situation. We are pleased that work is available for several of these businesses in Botetourt, and we are now providing some plan review online as a way to speed up the process and increase the efficiency of the program in general. With all of this taking place, we're also seeing increases in zoning complaints. Particular examples of creative work include virtual inspections, where the building official has connected to the contractor and can real time ask the contractor to show video of the construction projects. This has helped to reduce the time of inspections and increase the safety of all concerned. This is not required in some premises and it, this does not work for all inspections. However, it has worked for some and may certainly be something that is carried on past COVID into the future. Another example is that a development services employee worked with the treasurer to get the credit card payment system operational that has allowed remote pay for certain permits. I applaud the treasurer and his staff as well as the development services staff in making this happen. As part of the efforts to preserve budget, you're aware that I instituted a hiring freeze, a discretionary spending freeze some time ago. In addition to these efforts, we are monitoring budgets on a more than normal basis. We're also monitoring the revenue side of the ledger to see how impactful the COVID-19 will be on the budget. The budget team has been working with the budget subcommittee and providing timely details and as much information as possible on a regular basis. As all know, the data is changing rapidly 
and the group is working hard to be conservative and realistic as associated with the budget. Obviously, more information will be coming on the budget from the Board of Supervisors. During this time, even with the pandemic taking place, business must continue as much as possible. The Economic Development Department has been working with the Small Business Development Center and local businesses to locate available resources. The Economic Development Department has also been working with the Regional Partnership and the Economic Mutual Aid Team, plus working with larger prospects where the flow has not stopped. The Craig Bonneton Electric Cooperative Broadband Expansion Project is starting and will provide fiber to the homes for 621 families. This broadband expansion has been slow due to the availability of supplies. However, progress is taking place. The department is also working on grant applications and also placing local properties on the Virginia uh, Economic Development Partnership website. This is one of the first places that new projects look and we are increasing our efforts in this area. We are seeing more cross-pollination between departments on a regular basis, and this is good addition to Bonneton County. We are seeing the library system being used as a hub where fire EMS employees are reading books to youth via video. We have a Bonneton County Entrepreneurial Book Club that has started through the Department of Economic Development. We also have story walks being developed with the Recreation Department in conjunction with the libraries. The libraries are working to deliver collections in electronic format and are making plans for the summer reading program for youth as well as enhancing the K-12 educational system. To assist those uh, youth prior to school, the 1,000 Things uh, Before Kindergarten program is being rolled out. The library system is also providing an opportunity for the general public to call for assistance when needed and a new oral history program is being started to capture the stories of the past for those of the future. The libraries are also exploring opportunities to connect with outside resources of the library system. Places such as the free university classes, free coding classes, and assisting K-12 to reduce the summer educational slump. Purchasing has been a support department for the entire system. It's been noted by various other departments that purchasing is doing a great job with quick responses and trying new avenues of procurement. As an example, the first outdoor procurement event took place at Greenfield for the Colonial Elementary Low Voltage Needs. This provided the bidding companies a way to participate in a safe and controlled environment. The department has also been a key communication element for the entire staff. Recreation and facilities have been hard at work taking care of equipment, planning, carrying out projects around the county. Facilities have been uh, tracking supplies for all the different departments and utilizing technology as a way to keep up with the maintenance needs. A courthouse tour was conducted to allow contractors to view the project uh, for the future. 12 contractors were able to meet and go through the building with purchasing and facilities. Facilities is also providing creative opportunities for some of the other employees to take on tasks that need to be accomplished outside of their expertise. Facilities have been uh, even developed voter registrar safety kits that can be utilized during the upcoming elections. Recreation maintenance has been working on fields, getting them ready when, when things open up and have a chance to apply needed top dressing while citizens have not been using those fields. Under normal conditions, it's difficult to make these applications in a timely manner. The equipment maintenance is also an issue that gets pushed out in normal times. This year, the department has taken time to organize, plan, and to provide the repairs to equipment so that we can optimize the investment we have in the department. Recreation has also been pushing hard to provide approximately $40,000 in refunds in summer sporting activities. They have also been working to develop virtual sports such as the trick shot video contest. 
Lots of videos from youth in the county were uploaded and the program was recently promoted on a local TV station. Repairs are taking place in batting cages, nets, and trails are being maintained just as an example. In addition to these examples, lots of training has been taking place across the entire system. Policies have been updated and modified as a way to assist as we move forward. I've only provided examples of some of the work that is going on in Botetourt County. Obviously, there are many more examples of what is going on during the pandemic. More information is being posted at Botetourt County Government Facebook page or at the COVID-19 page on botetourtva.gov. I personally wish to thank each staff and board member for the support necessary to carry out all of this work that is going on. I find it amazing to see and to understand how our BOCO team is working for the good of the citizens. The individual and corporate talent in these departments represent the best of the best. As you all know, these times are not easy and it takes good solid people to back up a system like Bonneton County. I am happy to report we have that solid team here and they are up to the task necessary to provide citizens with the best services available. Communication between the staff has certainly aided what has happened and what will happen as we move forward. Until the next update, may God bless each of you and Botetourt County.